<laughs> falling down the hill. Let's try that again. Hey, what's up guys? Josh Buck here on the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm at one of my favorite places and I can't wait to share this with you. It's called Manini Beach. I'm going to go spearfishing here for a, for a specific species called Manini. They're also known as convict tang. That's where this beach gets its name because they're abundant in population and they're massive in size. But there are a few other reasons why this place took my breath away the first time I came here. And it's one of the reasons why I fell in love with the Big Island. If you ever come to the Big Island, you need to come to this specific area. It's called Kealakakua Bay. So there are a few other reasons why this place is super popular and famous and why I fell in love with it. One of the first reasons why is if you'll notice right over here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little white monument. It's over there in the distance. That's Captain Cook Monument. Captain Cook landed here on the Big Island in 1779. For about a month, he was treated like royalty, wound up getting in a skirmish with some of the locals, and he actually was killed over there in Ka'awaloa. So this entire bay is called Kealakakua Bay. Specifically, this area over here is for non-motorized boats. You actually can't anchor anywhere in here because you're going to damage the reef. There's some of the best reefs in the world here in this specific area. In that area there, you can line fish or net fish, but you can't spear fish. So I'm going to go out and around this area where you'll see a big white sign, and that's where I'm going to spear fish. But over there in Kealakakua Bay, it's it ranges between 15 and 120 feet. There is a massive array of wildlife over there. You can't take fish out of that specific area over there. It's a reserve. So you can go and look and admire, but you can't kill anything. Because of that, there are is a, a dolphin pod that frequents that area often. There are porpoises and turtles, but there's also just a huge array of, of different sea life and marine life that you're bound to see over there. You can rent the kayaks from this guy over here, kayak over there, jump in the water. Some of the best snorkeling and scuba and free diving, not just in Hawaii, but in the world, it's pristine. You can also see that the waters are so super clear. Another reason why this place is famous, March 11th, 2011, there was a 9.0 earthquake in Japan that caused a tsunami to largely affect this entire area, Napa Opo'o area. But specifically here in Manini, it wiped out a lot of the beach houses that were in this area. One of them, in fact, was rushed back out to ocean or washed back out to sea. So this area has been largely affected by a lot of history in the island. So it's somewhere you've got to come to, if not just to soak in the pure beauty of the area, to get in the water, enjoy looking at some wildlife. If the conditions are right, you won't snorkel, scuba dive, or free dive in a better place in the world. I'm going to go get suited up, get to go out here and get some manini, come back in here and cook them, and enjoy this beauty and, and the culture of Hawaii. I hope that you guys love this content. If you do, please go down, like, comment, share, uh, subscribe, show me some love, and let YouTube know that this is some, some good content. I'm gonna get, get, go get suited up, guys. Talk to you guys in the water.
Hey, what's up guys? Not my best day out there in the water. I got a couple of Moano before I broke the band, my pole spear. Gave them to a couple of kids here on the beach so they could go home and enjoy them. After I broke the band of my pole spear, went back in, got my spear gun, went back out. A little bit overpowered for some of these little manini, but hopefully I got super close and you guys were able to see that sea turtle. Every time I see those things, I get super jazzed. So I dove down, got up close and personal with him, hung out with him, but I didn't want to bother him too much because he was tucked under a rock probably keeping away from predators so that he could relax or sleep. So I got, got there, enjoyed spending time with him because I love those sea turtles. Got back out of his way before I bothered him. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please go down and hit that thumbs up button. Show me some love. Subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I keep putting out. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, tips, leave them in the comments. I'll make sure and read those and get back to you and follow up and keep those in mind when I'm creating this content. Guys, I super appreciate you here watching this content. I love making it. Love the ocean, love Hawaii, love sharing it with you guys. I've got to get out of here to go get some foundation blocks because we've got to build a 40 foot container for some interns coming in. So I'm looking forward to bringing that off grid lifestyle to you guys. Other than that guys, I've got to check out of here. As always, I'm Josh Buck, here's my highlight.